in Kenya lies the largest county in the country's landmass, which also hosts the only true desert in Kenya, the Chalbi Desert, a dry, barren land. This is Marsabit County, also referred to as the cradle of mankind. <laughs> Majority of the people living in this county are pastoralists, whose main livelihood is livestock kipping. Marsabit has no single permanent river. For many years, Marsabit has experienced the wrath of Mother Nature. Severe drought has been persistent in this region, where hundreds of livestock were lost due to lack of enough grazing resources, like water and pasture. At the heart of the famous Chalbi Desert lives the Gabra, and the Rindile pastoral communities, neighboring each other from Maikona, Kalacha and Karki. At times, especially during drought season, these communities end up crossing each other's grazing boundaries as they move from one place to another in search of precious rare commodities, pasture and water, resulting to border conflicts, mostly over grazing resources and sometimes cattle rustling. This is because every community wants to control the little available resources without sharing with their neighbours. Influx of livestock also leads to overgrazing, hence desertification. To foster peaceful coexistence among the neighbouring pastoral communities like Rindile and Gabra, Caritas Marsabit, with the support from their partner, has been undertaking peace camps among the hardest under the justice and peace programs. Uh, through the support of Miserio, we were able to contribute to the peaceful coexistence of communities in Marsabit. Peace and conflict resolution actually is mainstreamed in all our programs because of the history of Marsabit. Marsabit as a county has fought not once, not twice, several times, and some of those, uh, the ramification of those conflicts have been very bad on the livelihoods and the lives of people. This year's hardest camp was done at a strategic border point by Lisbura, Yell, for the Rendile and the Gabra communities to develop cohesion between them. This is uh, what we call hardest peace camp, where these hardest come together and we meet them at the water point and uh, discuss issues affecting them, like scarcity of pasture and water. This is one of the regions that we have been working over the years. And uh, they are so close that they have been sharing the same water point, the same grazing areas. But you know, when these people live together, there are some stray animals which go to the other community uh, livestock. <laughs> Namadura <laughs> Clearly a sign of commitment that they want to live together in peace for the betterment of future generations. They are able to share some, have some informal sharings even at the night because they spend together the whole night, the whole day. They share water points and we encourage them to live together peacefully. The Kenya Police Reservice, those people who move with the livestock, those people who are always on the front line of conflict if such, such conflict arises, these are the people whom we target. When people meet, they eat together, they sing traditional songs together. They have even, apart from the gathering, they have some informal sharing where they, they share. Mamwe Lemme has been the assistant chief for Kalacha for over a decade and he says the task of keeping peace between the two communities has been a heavy one and that the idea of the hardest peace camp has come in handy. Karibu makatatu nimesumbuka sana juu ya usalama. Mwafugaji wengine naiva mbuzi wengine nangia ngamia na yote kienda airudi. Tukasumbuka tukajaribu kutafuta na mnangine. Tukaomba msaada watu na hitwa Caritas Dawes. Tukaka tusaidia. For six years, to lika salama bila shida. 
During such a peace camp, long-term resolutions are drafted out of the peace meetings where hiders are actively involved from the planning to the execution of peace strategies. Where do you graze your animals this season, this day, this week? How is it going to be the watering tanks for different communities? Then a schedule is planned, committees from different communities are set, and then harmony is realized at that point. Apart from those committees, the Kenya Police Reservist KPR also plays a critical role in keeping peace among the warring communities by moving and camping with the harders at their satellite camps. Satim is a KPR inspector from the Rendile community. <laughs> Raya yote mzima, panduka wese pika watu, unachunga raya mzima. Na sisi na gabra, kepi ara gabra unafanya kasi pamoja. Mali kupotea, tunapigana sumu, tunajuana, tunatafuta pamoja, tunahurudishana, tunatafuta, tunapenda amani. William Mamu is a hider from the Olom in Kalacha and this is what he had to say. Yadi, hama, community, gosgosa, waltindu, fankuni, yadasa, and uh, we want to thank our, our partners who have enabled us to do this activity, the Miserio, and uh, the Catholic Diocese of Marsabit, the Bishop, and all the people, and the community of Kargi and Maikona, Kalacha, Olom, and Kurkum, and particularly these Hadas, who were able to stay with us, who were able to provide uh, water, and uh, goats for slaughter. We are very grateful for all of them and uh, representatives of peace committees, uh, the chiefs and the Kenya police reservists. We are very grateful for all of them.